Hello everyone, my name is Jia Shen Sun. I'm a second year PhD student from the University of Michigan. In this video, I will be presenting our collaboration work with Yu Longcao, Professor Qi Afri Chen from SGAR Group at UC Irvine, and my advisor, Professor Molly Mao, titled Towards Robust Light Based Perception in Autonomous Driving, General Black Box Adversarial Sensor Attack and Countermeasures. Autonomous vehicles or AVs are undergoing rapid development, and some of them are already operating on public roads like Google Waymo and Baidu Apollo. An AV usually relies on multiple onboard sensors for data collection, like cameras and LIDARs, and it will feed the data to the perception module. Therefore, perception serves as the foundation of the entire AV system. Nowadays, deep learning or deep neural networks are heavily adopted in state-of-the-art AV perception pipelines. Camera and LIDARs are the most reliable sensors in AVs, whereas the camera generates 2D images and LIDAR generates 3D point clouds, as the red figure shows. The corresponding DNA models will output the bounding boxes of the detected object with its type and confidence scores. And extensive research efforts have been made to study the security of camera-based perception in the context of AV. As the red figure shows, attackers can utilize some stickers to fool the camera-based perception models to introduce fake vehicles. Recently, a pioneering work called HV LIDAR first demonstrated that LIDAR-based perception is also vulnerable to sensor attacks with the help of adversarial machine learning techniques. The authors first showed that it is feasible to inject a small amount of points by shooting malicious lasers to the victim LiDAR, and formulated the sensor attack capability as controlling the distance, the altitude, and the azimuth of spoofed points. By modeling the sensor attack capability, the authors formulated the attack as an optimization problem, and by solving such an optimization problem, the attackers will learn how to strategically shoot the lasers to the victim LiDAR sensor to fool the LiDAR-based perception models. Therefore, ADV LiDAR is considered as a state-of-the-art attack on LiDAR-based perception models. However, we find that HV LiDAR suffers from several inherent limitations. First of all, it suffers from white box attack limitation. HV LiDAR assumes that adversaries have full knowledge of the LiDAR-based perception models, including its pre- and post-processing modules, which is not realistic. And second, HV LiDAR suffers from generality issues. In their paper, they only target one specific LiDAR-based perception model, which is Baidu Apollo 2.5, and design specific differentiable approximation functions for it. However, designing such differentiable functions for other models are non-trivial, making it hard to transfer to other models. And most importantly, to the best of our knowledge, there is no practical defense solution proposed, making the AV still open to such LiDAR spoofing attacks. Motivated by the limitations of existing work and lack of research, overall, we claim the following contributions in this paper. We first explore and discover a general vulnerability of current LiDAR-based perception models and successfully construct the first black box attack. We also performed the first defense study proposing Carlo as an anomaly detection module that can be stacked on the existing architectures, which reduces the mean attack success rate to around 5.5%. And we further designed the first end-to-end -end general architecture for robust LiDAR-based perception, reducing the mean attack success rate to around 2.3% with similar detection accuracy to the original model. In this work, we adopt the formulation in ADV LiDAR to describe the sensor attack capability. Especially, the number of points and azimuth of the points are limited to 210 degrees due to the hardware constraints. This attack capability has been demonstrated in the real world as the red figure shows, making it a realistic threat model. And our attack goal is to spoof a fake vehicle right in front of the victim AV to impact its immediate driving behaviors, which could injure the passengers. For the defense model, we consider defending LiDAR spoofing attacks under both white box and black box setting, and focus on the software level solutions. To begin with, I want to introduce some basic backgrounds of the LiDAR-based perception models. There are three mainstreams, which are bird's eye view-based, voxel-based, and point-wise models. In this work, we target Baidu Apollo 5.0, which is the latest version, point pillars, and point RCN as three representatives for each class. They all achieve state-of-the-art performance. Okay, let's first get into the vulnerability identification and the black box attack part. Since our attack goal is to spoof a fake vehicle right in front of the victim AV to impact its immediate driving behaviors, it is worthwhile to first investigate what a valid vehicle should look like in the LiDAR point cloud at a frontier location. As shown in the figure, a valid frontier vehicle located 5 to 8 meters right in front of the AV should contain around 2,000 reflected points and occupy 15 degrees in atmos in a 64-beam LiDAR point cloud. However, despite a lack of generalization, ADV LiDAR was able to spoof a fake frontier vehicle by injecting much fewer amount of points than it is required for a valid one. Therefore, there must exist certain LiDAR-related physical features that are not correctly learned in the model, which could also be generalizable to other state-of-the-art 3D object detection model designs. 
To explore the general vulnerability, we find that there do exist two situations that a valid vehicle contains much fewer points in a LiDAR point cloud, which are illustrated in the following figures. They are occluded vehicles and distant vehicles. Similar to human vision perception, LiDAR sensors only have line of sight measurements. Therefore, if a vehicle is occluded by other obstacles, it will contain much fewer points and azimuth angles. And also, since LiDAR scans uniformly in horizontal and vertical angles, therefore, the more distant an object stands, the fewer points it contains. Which is also similar to human vision perception that distant objects occupy fewer pixels in our eyes. Based on those observations, we propose and validate two empirical hypotheses of potential false positive conditions that may contribute to the success of LiDAR spoofing attack. Basically, we find that if we simply translate such occluded and distant vehicles' point sets to a far near location, those point sets will be still detected as a valid vehicle. And please refer to our paper for the validation experiment's details. As a result, attackers can directly exploit such two false positive conditions to fool the ladder based perception models and spoof a fake vehicle with much fewer points. For example, the translated trace in the figure only contains 38 points and less than 5 degrees in azimuth, which is within the sensor attack capability, and we validate that all the target models detect them as a valid vehicle. But why this is the case? Here we give two empirical observations of 3D object detection models that may explain the reasons. First, state-of-the-art models perform detection in the 3D space, where the occluder and occluded stand apart with each other. Therefore, during the training phase, models cannot learn the causality or even the correlations of the occluder and occluded. As a result, the model learns to predict the occluded vehicle's bounding box only by their local points. Second, object detection models are designed to be insensitive to the location of objects, for efficient and easier converge in the training phase. Based on this vulnerability, we construct and launch the first black box attack on the target models, and we perform large-scale evaluations using point cloud samples from the KT dataset, and leverage both digital and physical spoofing in the experiments. We find that the black box attack universally achieves around 80% mean attack success rate on all target models. And please refer to our paper for the detailed attack construction and robustness analysis. Now it's time to introduce our first defense strategy, CARLO, Occlusion-Aware Hierarchy Anomaly Detection. Due to time constraints, I will only cover the high-level methodology of CARLO. The key idea of CARLO is to leverage a concept called free space in the LiDAR point cloud. We define free space as a frustum from the LiDAR sensor and any point in the LiDAR point cloud. As shown in the figure, the blue space represents the free space. Since there is a closer obstacle and its own facing surface, occluding the LiDAR beams, there is very limited free space inside a real vehicle's bounding box. However, for a spoofed vehicle's bounding box, we can clearly see from the figure that the beams can penetrate its bounding box. Therefore, due to the limited sensor attack capability, there will be a large portion of free space inside the fake vehicle's bounding box. Carlo actually leverages the significant difference in free space between valid and fake vehicles as a physical environment to detect spoofed vehicles. Carlo can be efficiently stuck onto existing LiDAR based perception models without retraining. We also designed a GPU-friendly submodule to accelerate Carlo processing time. Please refer to our paper to find more details of Carlo. We further perform large-scale evaluations on Carlo. The evaluation setups are similar with our black box attack. The figures show that Carlo overall reduces the mean attack success rate from 80% to around 5.5%. The accuracy of Carlo achieves at least 99.5%, and we also validate that the remaining 0.5% errors would not change the driving decisions. Carlo can also effectively defend the ADB LiDAR and its adaptive attacks. Please refer to our paper for those details. Next, I will introduce SVF, Sequential View Fusion, a general architecture we designed for robust LiDAR-based perception. To design a robust architecture, let's first revisit the existing state-of-the-art models. As introduced before, we find that all these model designs only utilize the 3D representation of LiDAR point clouds. However, we find that the native representation of LiDAR point cloud is actually the front view representation, which is similar to a depth image. Unfortunately, most of the state-of-the-art models overlook it because it is really noisy. Here we provide some insights of why we think the front view should help. First, as mentioned before, the occluder and occlude are apart with each other in the 3D space. However, as the figure shows, they neighbor with each other in the front view representation, making it possible for DNA models to learn the correlations. And second, a valid vehicle's points are clustered in the front view, whatever how distant it is located. However, due to the limited sensor attack capability, attack traces will scatter in the front view, which also provide opportunities for DNA models to differentiate them. Although we find the front view should help with defending LiDAR spoofing attack, existing models leveraging front view representation cannot achieve as good performance as models leveraging 3D representations. 
because vehicles in 3D space share similar size and points from different vehicles stand apart, which add a strong priority to the model learning. Based on those understandings, we further propose sequential view fusion, as shown in the figure. The key idea is to attach a semantic segmentation network to the front view representation. The segmentation network outputs the probability score of each point so that it belongs to the vehicle. Semantic segmentation networks have several advantages. First, semantic segmentation is an easier task, since it doesn't have to estimate object level output. And second, segmentation networks have achieved much more satisfactory results than the 3D object detection task over the front view representation. After we got the point level probability score, we transform them back to the 3D space and then augment them with the original point cloud. The final detection is still performed on the 3D space. However, the 3D representation now aggregates the useful information from the front view segmentation network. Therefore, this architecture reserves the advantage of 3D representation and also incorporates important features from the front view representation. We also leverage our proposed attack to evaluate SVF's robustness. As the figure shows, SVF can greatly reduce the attack success rate from around 80% to 2.3%, with similar detection accuracy to the original models. SVF models are also resilient to state-of-the-art white box attack, ADB LIDAR, and its adaptive attacks. Please refer to our paper to find more details. Here, I want to discuss several limitations of our paper. First, we haven't demonstrated the attack practicality in road test. And second, the identified vulnerability cannot provide completeness which means that there may exist more vulnerability in the DNA models. And lastly, although we show that our defense work well, but they cannot provide strong guarantees when the attack capability greatly increases. To conclude, in this work, we explore a general vulnerability of current database perception models and construct the first black box spoofing attack. We perform the first defense study, proposing Carlo as an anomaly detection module that can be stacked onto database perception models. And we take a step further towards designing the first end-to-end -end general architectures for robust database perception. Thank you for your time.